Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. That's right, we're going with the full ABCs of Arc. A for Arc, B for Basic, C for, well, whatever you want it to be. C can be anything. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Arc Basics. I'm Flinger Fu, and today we are just going out for a cruise through the Redwoods because today we are going to find one of the better early on aquatic dinos. Yeah, we're going to find the Sarko. And where are you going to go if you find the Sarko? To the swamps! So hey, today we are going to the swamps. Now these guys aren't exclusive to the swamps, but they are pretty much uh, just about everywhere you expect them to be. Um, I mean, you can find them in the shallower bits of uh, the rivers. You can find them, uh, of course, in the swamps. You can also find them in uh, just uh, kind of little bits on the lands. But for the most part, if you want to find something like the Sarko, a crocodile, um, then you want to definitely find them. Uh, anywhere where it's wet. Alright, so any place kind of like this. Down here, let's get out the old blazer pointer. Um, anywhere down like in these uh, little bits of uh, water. And also as it meets uh, the land down there, that's also kind of what you want. Now these guys, they're not that advanced of a tame. They're actually kind of an early game tame. And then the level to get their saddle here, we'll actually discover, we'll discuss that here in a second. The moment I can actually open up my inventory give me one second and we're gonna land and bam all right nailed it there we go all right so yeah sarko i mean to get these guys saddled it's only level 35 it's actually really easy uh to craft their saddle it's only 20 cementing paste 75 fiber 230 hide it's really really easy to uh craft these guys saddle especially after um, you uh, um, raid just a single beaver dam is really all it takes to get that. Um, but yeah, these guys right here, they are, they're kind of powerhouses. Now, they weren't um, that good all the way up until they had a big TLC patch. After they got the TLC patch, these guys actually became really good mounts. Now, they're not the best mounts. They're not, you know, absolute boss fighters or anything like that. But these guys, they will take you up on land. They will let you... Oh, I see one right down there. And that's kind of what we're looking for. Um, they will... Uh, they'll let you uh, uh, cruise around on land without having too many things mess with you. And then they'll also uh, allow you to go into the uh, water um, without be I'm having too many problems. Do I have any regular bullets on me? I do. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, I gotta get rid of you, Boas. Uh, you guys, you're following my Sarko, and I can't have that. All right? We'll just have none of that nonsense around there. Who are you, Dillo? All right, what about you too, Dillo? And you too, Boa. Oh, dude, you're not supposed to juke. What kind of a world is this coming to when Boa's got mad juke? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, that's what I'm talking about too. All right, so yeah, you can actually just tame these guys with... Being naked with a crossbow. It's actually really easy. Um, now you just go like this, equip said crossbow. And the key thing is, you just kind of dangle your meaty bits down inside the water. And then you kind of have to get aggro. Um, watch out for the piranhas and stuff like this while you're down here. But, yeah. All right, so let's come down like this. Come on, buddy. Dude, where, where'd you go, man? All right, once you're in the water, you're kind of in their territory. And these guys move fast in the water. There he is. So you have to make sure that... You don't kind of dangle your meaty bits too close. Alright, suffocating. Alright, so let's get over a little bit to... Oh, seriously? Suck it, Pego. Alright. 
Swamps are very dangerous, by the way. Okay, so we're going to try to uh, get this guy over like this. Get a little bit closer. Now, I don't know where he's at because he's underneath the water. Oh, he's stuck. Got him. All right, come here, buddy. Yeah, he's coming fast. All right, now, when he's coming fast, he's going to be coming fast. But on land, he's not nearly as fast. All right, so now all we have to do is take him, get him tangled up inside these trees. Where'd he go? Are you already running? Are you for real? Oh, he's already running. All right, let's get over there and get this little dude knocked out because... Oh, he's ru he is running. Holy crap. Did I get him? Got him. Oh, he's knocked out. Okay, cool. <laughs> all right, so he's knocked out in the water. So now all we have to do is go get either some prime meat or some regular meat, throw it on this guy, and he's going to be our little buddy for a little bit. Oh, he's only level 15. That would... Hello? Seriously? That happened. <laughs> Alright, so hey, I'm gonna get this guy tamed up and I'll uh, see you guys in just a minute. All right, and this guy is up. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this guy and we're gonna bring him back over to base. I've already had, I already have one that I've been leveling up for a long time that I've had with me. But these guys right here, if you properly level them, they can actually be your buddy for a long time. And notice how just how quick this guy is underwater. It's pretty dang cool. And they actually start out with a really good uh, um, weight stat and everything like that. But here, let's pop this saddle on him. And notice, I mean, they're not slow on land. They're not fast by any means, but they're not slow. And, but the beauty of these guys is the moment they get into water, they go just like a rocket. See how fast this is? This is amazing. <laughs> these guys are really, really wicked cool. All right, but also they have a couple of attacks. There's the regular attack, just a simple bite. Now there's the right-click attack which is where you grab a hold of whatever's in front of you and you spin it. Now that spin attack can actually knock other riders off of their saddles. If you can target the rider with that, then you can uh, um, oh, knock them off their saddle. It's really cool. Plus, also you get this other C attack like this, which opens up these crosshairs for you. Now if you say like, go like that, you can grab a hold of things. It is wicked cool. Now, this guy, he's not hitting for a whole ton, but yeah. Let's see. But yeah, you can uh, you can launch yourself, and uh, yeah, it, these guys, they can do a ton of damage, especially really high-level ones. It's really wicked cool. And also, there's another thing these guys can do, is when you pop off them, just like this, they can actually act as a little raft out on top of uh, the, um, oh, the water, just like this. It's like you can go like this, pop open your... Uh, your weapon, and then just have them move over to certain areas. Now, of course, if you get into deep water, they'll jump you off, but, dude, that was a bad example, right? Stop moving, man. All right, but, yeah, these guys, they can get moving all over the place. It is wicked cool. I mean, there's not many other dinos that you can uh, have go um, straight from uh, the water, right onto land, back into water, plus have them do just this much damage. And, uh, um... For going down deep inside the, uh, oh, inside the ocean, these guys are actually a really good mount. They go fast. That's the kind of their key thing. Now, they're not going to be able to tank a whole bunch of stuff. You can't really tank like a Mosa with these guys. Not like a Baryonyx can. I mean, you kind of can, but I, I really wouldn't risk it that much. Um, Baryonyxes, they generally tend to be a little bit tougher. But... If you're looking for a very, very good beginner's mount going underwater, these guys are kind of your thing. They'll take you down into the underwater caves, 
down below. Uh, it's where you can get like the silica pearls, not the big caves, not the artifact caves, but the little small ones that have the oil and the silica pearls down below. And then you can just grab that stuff, come right back up. And also, these guys move, if you know exactly the location of where the underwater cave is, you can go down there off just one breath without even needing scuba gear. Go into the cave, come up, get your breath of fresh air inside the cave, and then come back and grab your silica pearls and then come back on this on another breath of air. They're that fast. You just have to know exactly where you're going. Yeah. All right. Uh, so yeah, I mean, that's really, for the most part, that's about it when it comes to the Sarko. Um, if you were going to use it as say like an everyday mount, which I wouldn't really recommend because they're, they're still kind of slow on land and then their stamina doesn't really wait and doesn't really go that far. But if you want to use one for an everyday mount, I would say um, out of every five levels, I would go with at least one in stamina, two in health, two in melee damage. That way there, you can have one that is just kind of like a powerhouse um, that gets really, really super tough at the longer you have it. All right, now here, let me grab the saddle on one more time. Bam. Thank you. All right. But yeah, I'm going to come over here. Hold on. Yeah, don't you be following me, buddy. All right, I've got another one over here, Crocolicious. Man, he's not that high level, but I've had him for a little bit. And even at level 79, this guy, he's already got 2,500 hit points. He's already got 219 melee damage. He's already got seven, um, 765 stamina and 366 weight. This guy's actually pretty decent. And he's only level 79. Yeah, it's kind of cool. All right, but um, at uh, when you get like max level ones, like 150 ones, these guys, they can get really, really tough. It's pretty cool. Especially if you uh, were to uh, um, oh, take one of them, make it your little, uh, make it your mount for a while, make it your dedicated mount. Yeah, you can get these guys really, really tough. Um, but yeah, and also, if you were going to use them as for, say, like, uh, uh, all right, if you were going to use them as for just an underwater mount, I would recommend um, out of every five levels, going with at least two in health, one in stamina, and then maybe one in uh, melee damage and one in movement speed. Because they, you, these guys, you can upgrade their movement speed, which is pretty cool, which means you can get them moving even faster in the water. It's pretty cool. All right, so hey, um, I hope that uh, covers it for the Sarko. I mean, there's not really much to say other than these guys, they can pack one heck of a punch. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, hey, if you like the video, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate that. If you're new around here, subscribe. Until next time, this is Flinger Foo, and take it easy, everybody.